Salud Tribe, it's Jari, your chief. I hope everything is going well today. I wanted to jump on and, and give you guys a little quick workout for this beautiful Sunday to help start your week off right. So let's go ahead and get it started, all right? So we're gonna start in our mountain pose as always, as usual, and we're gonna bring the feet together right underneath the hips, allow the hands to curve naturally by your side. We're gonna press the shoulders down and back. And on our very next breath, we're gonna inhale, bounce the knees, plugging the fingertips into the sky, and we're gonna exhale, folding over, keeping the head up as long as you can. On our very next breath, we're gonna bend the knees and come up nice and slow. And we're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, bounce the knees, bringing it up. Exhale, folding over, keeping the head up as long as you can, bend the knees and come up nice and easy one vertebrae at a time last set inhaling up exhale diving back this time adding a little bit of a, that back bend in there and dropping it down head to the knees hands to the floor if you can and then we're going to bend the knees and come up nice and easy on our next breath we're going to cross that right leg over the left pushing both feet into the floor we're gonna inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, we're gonna lean over to that left side and make sure that both feet are pressed into the floor. I'm gonna turn here so you can see the back. So we're gonna squeeze everything tight, leaning over and looking up towards that right arm and just reaching through. Count in each exhalation, we're gonna hold for five more or five breaths. On our next inhale, we're gonna bring that up, release the hands, and we're just gonna to switch to the other side. So we're gonna cross that left leg over the right leg this time. So bringing it here, inhaling up, exhale, interlacing the fingers, and then we're gonna lean over to the right, looking up into that left side. Give me five full breaths here. On our very next breath, let's bring this up and we're gonna take it out, taking the legs out. We're gonna turn this way, but we're gonna interlace the fingers, squeeze the legs together, squeeze those shoulder, squeeze the legs and squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then we're gonna drop down right here. Dropping the chest, dropping the head, squeezing the legs, lifting the arms towards me. Make sure you're breathing. On our very next breath, we're gonna just grab that right leg and pull yourself over to it. I'm gonna turn here. So we're gonna turn that right leg out a little, squeeze the thigh. On our very next breath, let's walk it over to the left side. We're gonna hold for one more breath, pushing down a little bit more. And on our very next inhale, we're gonna to turn towards that left foot and just step the right leg up to meet it, bringing both feet underneath the hips and we're gonna lift the chest and lift the head for that chest lift. On our very next breath, let's drop the head down and we're gonna bend the knees and come up nice and slow. Okay, still working on that spine and just bringing in fluidity and movement and life into the spine. All right, so let's grab that right leg, that right foot, and we're gonna take it into our dancer pose. So keeping the knees together, we're gonna lift up, counterbalancing with the left arm and looking straight ahead over the left fingertips. You can keep it here, or if you're able to, let's lift that right leg up Going into that full dancer pose. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna angle down, okay? 
and we're going to try to touch the floor with the fingertips. Even if you're not able to touch the floor just yet, you can angle down and point the fingertips towards the floor. But if you are able to, let's go ahead and land onto the floor with the fingertips and lift that right leg up even higher. Check in with your breathing. On our very next breath, we're gonna take this down, take that right leg down, stepping that right leg back. We're gonna bring the left leg forward and we're gonna inhale up into a high lunge with the back bend. So we're gonna lean back here. Still on that right side, pushing the hips forward, bringing the chest as close to parallel to the ceiling as you can. On our very next breath, let's bring that down, dropping that knee to the floor, that right knee to the floor. And now from here, we're gonna reach back, grab that right leg with the right hand. We're gonna take that left arm up and back into our reverse warrior in this low lunge position. On our very next breath, Let's bring that up and over. And then we're gonna step back into our high plank. Taking it here into our down dog. We're gonna look forward and then just step the feet forward for me. Folding over to that forward fold on our very next breath. Let's bend the knees, tucking that tailbone under and coming up nice and easy. Allowing the head to just float on top of the shoulders. We're just taking care of the body, all right? Let's grab that left foot, balancing with that right, with the right arm, find your focus, counting the breaths, okay? So when you're ready, let's go ahead and try to lift up into our, our dancer pose. On the next breath, let's take this down either plugging the fingertips into the floor or pointing down towards the floor, whatever you can do. And you may be able to do it all the way down on one side and not the other. That's completely okay. We just wanna to work to where we have both sides nice and balanced. On our next breath, let's take this left leg back and we're gonna take it back into our high lunge with that back bend. So we're gonna inhale and up. Exhale, lean and back. Check in with your breathing. On our very next breath, let's drop the hands down. We're gonna drop that knee down. And then we're gonna grab that back leg with the left hand, that left hand, that left hand and arm. Sorry, the left hand on the left leg. And then we're gonna reach up with that right arm, okay? And then pushing back. Counting each exhalation. On our very next breath, let's bring that up and over. And then we're gonna transition into our camel pose. So we're gonna bring it to our knees. For that camel pose, you can bring your hands to your lower back and just squeeze the glutes, pressing the hips forward and squeezing those shoulder blades back or reach down anywhere on your leg or grab the feet and push forward from there. We're gonna hold for eight full breaths. On our very next inhale, 
if you're able to, if you have knee issues, you want to stay away from this pose. But if you're able to, we're going to separate the legs just a little bit more. Drop the hips right or the glutes right in between the heels, okay? And then either bringing it back, you can have it here on your palms. You can drop down to your elbows or all the way down. We're going to hold it here for eight breaths. Inhaling through the nose, exhale through the mouth for me. On our very next breath. We're just going to bring it up nice and slow, okay? Take care of that body, the knees, the spine, and then we're just going to bring it over. Finishing out. It's a quick routine today just to open up the body, get some stretching in there. I'm going to have you to bring your hands right underneath your shoulders, knees under the hips with the toes tucked. And from here, we're just going to take it into a cat-cow. So we're going to inhale, round the back, tuck that chin into the chest. Exhale, we're going to drop the belly, open the heart. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, bringing it in. Exhaling out. Then we're going to take it into our circles with the torso for five, four, three, two, and one. Opposite direction for another five, four, Three, you're still breathing. Two and one. There we go. We are all set, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that routine. Please, as always, do it as many times as you want. And uh, please don't forget to like, sh <laughs> like, share, and subscribe today. It's really making a difference. Thank you guys for all the love. I truly appreciate you. And also, if you're interested, I'll have the exclusive fan, fan page. And you can always check it by um, going into my bio and checking it there. And yeah, just let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. If you would like one-on-one -on -one sessions, um, I have text messaging um, happening. If you want to be in contact with me and go through routines and things like that and training sessions also available. So I have a little bit of all of it, all right? So just let me know how I can help. But in the meantime, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great week. And let me know if there's anything else that you need from me. All right. I will see you guys later. Again, thank you. I love you guys and truly appreciate you guys. Have a great week. Namaste.